And we'll take a look at West 10th Street on our U.S. netting cam from the Renaissance Center, St. Peter Cathedral here. And still a little bit of shake to the cam, so, you know, not only is it cold, it's probably got a little bit of a wind chill uh, going on there. And, and we, wa we wanted to take you to Almanac numbers, uh, 27 for a high, 22 for a low. And uh, trivia question's on there, but I'm going to cover it up. This, this is interesting. Look at that. Five years ago, 17. That's the second lowest temperature uh, in Erie recorded history. And Chris, I mean, this looks like the Arctic Circle. This is 2015 out on the lake. I mean, you could get disoriented <laughs> being out in that vicinity or just looking at the picture. But yeah, five years ago, 17 below zero. So uh, I want to get past that graphic because uh, I want to show you that we had no measurable snow today, but we're still a little bit above average, but certainly not the temperatures that we saw then in February. And of course, a lot below average uh, as far as snowfall is concerned for the season. So one more cold night, mostly sunny tomorrow and the weekend. Of course, it's going to start cold tomorrow, but by the afternoon and through Saturday and Sunday, we're warming back up into the 40s with abundant sunshine. So let's check some of the uh, temperatures right now. Uh, down to 20 at Penn State Barron, 23 at Niagara Pier, 21 in McCain. Chaz called in with a 21 in uh, Northeast and already down to 16 in uh, Union City. So this is your cold night, 13 from Janet in Cambridge, 17 Rose in Espyville, Titusville, you're at uh, 19, Warren at 17, and Scandia at 13. So you take a few degrees off of that by morning, you can see how the mountains and the inland are in the single digits, Erie probably in the teens. So high pressure is pushing away snow, which is in North Carolina right now, and bringing clearing skies to our area. Here's your little cold shot of air for tonight, but then winds are going to blow out of the southwest. We'll show you exactly how that happens. If the clouds break up by morning, that's how you get the coldest temperatures. But watch what happens as we go on into tomorrow. All of a sudden, you see the red streamers pulling up out of the south uh, for your Friday. And then when you go past Saturday, it gets even more pronounced here. You know, no clouds, no precipitation. And this, all right, that's your weekend in a nutshell there. And by Monday, it's still warm, but you got some rain coming later in the day. So for tonight, we'll just go 5 to 15 with any flakes ending and clouds breaking. Uh, jet pinpoint for Erie and the Lakeshore for tomorrow, forecasting high temperatures of 30 to 34, milder afternoon under the sun after that cold start. As we go through the inland into the mountains, 28 to 32, cold start, sunny and nice. Tomorrow night, about 10 degrees warmer, uh, 17 to 27. Here's your extended. Saturday, we'll say 43, Sunday, 47. Rain later on Monday into Tuesday. And those 44s and 45s may actually be higher by then, but then Katie bar the door, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we're just going down into the tank and uh, Arctic air and lake effect snow at that time.